can I ask a favour of all of you? As well as posting your character details for the competition, do you think you could also remind me to sort out my cargo bays? Yeah, if, if you could. Um, I don't even mean just that. I, I also mean... I also mean this one. Yeah. Yeah. It's reached a point now that I'm having to go on to another character, have them take stuff from my legacy stronghold storage, put it in their inventory, go back to Kranatoko and put it and put all of his stuff in the inventory in the legacy stronghold storage. So if you could, that would be good. Anyway, roll the titles. Hello everybody, it is I, Mr. Charlie Murray, and welcome to another pack opening video. This time, it is for the Scavengers Alliance packs. I was a bit confused when this pack came out, because Bio was saying it's now on the cartel market and on sale for one week only. And I thought, oh, so you made a whole cartel pack, but you're only going to have it on the cartel market for a week. But then I realised, no, it's just because it's going to be on that sale because usually when they bring it out it has like a 20% sale 20% off sale but this time it's like 40% so it's almost half price so now as usual I ask you guys post your character name your server and whether you are Empire and Republic and I can now reveal that the winner of uh, Super Crate of this pack the three winners are Vendreen from the Shadowlands server Rai should, you should, uh, from the Progenitor server, and Barney Arnie from the Shadowlands server as well. So congratulations to all three of you. You've won a super crate, so check your in-game mail on those characters, as you will receive a mail from me to say that your pack is on its way, because I can't send it for like 36 hours, blah, 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 because, well, you know why there's a timer that's bound to you until 36 hours, and yada, yada, yada. And of course, if you would like a chance to win a super crate of the next pack, which they are bringing another one uh, before Kotet, it seems, the Oppressor pack. But, have you seen the thing in the Oppressor pack? Can't click on it, but if you go to the Unrelating Terror's armor set, oh my god, I want it. Um, I don't know if that would be Kranitoka's new armor for Kotet, um, but it, it looks good enough at this point. I just don't know how it would properly look on him. Um, so until I can see that, we'll decide what I do. But I know that's going to go for a lot of money. Ooh. Ooh, Crimson Raiders as well. Because, of course, I can't click on that. Show details does nothing at this moment. It does for the scavenger stuff. Um, but, hey. But, yeah. So I want that. So, yes. All you need to do is push your character name, server, whether you are Empire or Republic. By, I think, probably sometime mid-November. That's probably when I'm going to release it, because it's not even been a month, and the Scavengers pack is already out. So they're probably going to do the same with uh, the Oppressors pack as well. Anyway, shall we get to opening the packs? I think we shall. So what sort of stuff are we looking for today? Let's look on the actual thing. Well, we've got a weird kind of mount that I guess doesn't exactly look like the one in The Force Awakens, but kind of does at the same time. Um, Senya's lightsaber as well from the Kotet uh, cinematic trailer. New droid companion. Uh, oh, and also there's like this uh, Rat Ghoul play kind of weapon tuning effect, which gives it like a smoky effect. So, hey. But first, let me take a selfie. No. Let's open the first pack. Which contains, we'll do it one by one for the first pack and then reveal all for the rest. Where's our fruit? Scrap sort of parts. Casual connoisseurs. Upper body armor. And Frontier Hunter's Assault Cannon. We have armor. How lovely. Well, I've always got to uh, redeem the armor because that's how it works. And of course, let's look at the gun first. Uh, the textures look a bit bland. In my personal opinion, I don't. I mean, it's. It kind of looks like a flamethrower, if anything. I mean, if you have a jetpack, it could look like a flamethrower, but of course, it wouldn't shoot fire, would it? It's, a, it's an okay sort of weapon. I don't know if I like it that much. This one and this one. Uh, 
See, I'm never really a fan of jackets that don't have a t-shirt underneath. I've never really been a fan of those. But hey, if you are, well, there's that. You can have it as many many colours as you want, I suppose. Um, and there's also the gloves as well. The gloves are not too bad. I like the gloves. So I may steal the gloves from this from this uh, armor set, but you know me, I probably won't. The next pack contains... Anything good? Give me the mount. Or the companion. I'd love the companion. Ooh, I got a mount. Um, title The Scavenger. I love it when I'm getting all the titles. So I've got so many titles now. I uh, will take the mount because, of course, we're going to claim the mount. And I'll take the title. How many titles does that give me now? Ah. Uh, probably a lot. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not even going to bother counting. Uh, and the Ember Scale Dubat. I wish, like, the, the animal mounts would have a flourish. I'm sure they could do something. Like, maybe a burp. That the Dubat could do. I don't know. But let's take a look at it up close. Okay. Oh. Oh, I like that. Can you see the little sort of... It's not really lighting, but it's... It's like scales are sort of a bit flashy. It dims down and then it sort of... The light sort of... I don't know how to explain it. But it's cool. It's, it's, it's a really cool effect. I really like that. But of course... It's just a Dubat in the end of the day. But I really... Uh, is, it, is it trying to look like... Oh, excuse me. My, excuse, my voice is going. Um, is it trying to look like camouflage or something like that? I don't really know. But it looks nice! The next pack contains... Uh, Grand Chance Cube. The Vectron Locust! I've actually got the Vectron Locust. How lovely! Grand Chance Cube can just stay there. So, let's take a look at this. Oh, there's no flourish to this as well. Ah. I haven't got a mountain in ages that has a flourish on it. Okay, unless there's a flourish and it's just not telling me there's a flourish. Oh, there is a flourish! Okay, well, it would have been nice if the description told me. Or did it? I, I don't know. Um, probably. Vectron. Oh, yeah, so there is. Oh, okay. Um, actually, no. Yes, there is. Looking at the wrong one. Well, I'm, I'm an idiot, aren't I? But hey. No, work. There we go. I was pressing the wrong button. There's the flourish. Um, again, it looks kind of like the uh, Force Awakens mount, Ray's mount, which I've actually got a little bit of a Lego set for. Where is it? Uh, is that it over there? I have no idea. I don't know what I've done with it. Well, not that you can see it anyway, but I like I like it. Oh, yeah, it do actually looks more like it as well because, of course, you've got the things at the back, which is pretty much like the Lego set. Where is it? Is it over there? So I usually have my Lego sets in my fridge. But I cannot see it. I think it's gone missing. Oh, what a shame. The next pack contains... Tiger Scavenger again, and the Vectron Harvester. There's a lot of Vectron stuff in this, isn't there? Well, let's look at this one then. Oh, it's a bronze pack item, so no doubt it, there's going to be uh, many of those popping up in this pack video. What was it? Vectron Harvester. There it is. There it is. There it is. Got my combine harvester. If you ever heard of that song, um, if it's, is it a song? I don't know. But yeah, it looks, it looks nice. It's got like a little back which somebody could possibly sit on. But unfortunately, Bioware don't allow you to have two people on one mount. Even though World of Warcraft do that, and I really think that Bioware should. Bioware should allow me to have somebody else on my mount because there are some mounts which just really suit it, like this one. Um, and there's some others as well, which just really could, which maybe could be edited to do it. But no, no, not, not possible for Bioware at this moment in time. I've really got to do Bonds of Duty. Maybe I'll do this uh, sometime this week. He lied. Um, what am I looking for? I was going into my stash. I'm a, it's like, I know where I'm supposed to be going, but I always go to the wrong area anyway. Uh, is that it for the moment? Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Yes, it is. The next pack. Contains. I'm gonna have a sip of Coca Cola. Good Coca Cola. Grand Chance Cube Derelict Spacecraft. A decoration. How lovely. I've really got to start doing some decorating in my uh, stronghold because I just. I mean, there's my. I mean, there's my that, my little casino place. But I've not really done anything else. I mean, this is always like the area open my packs. But from the feedback I got from the last pack. 
I was sort of told to do the uh, pack openings and other strongholds, which I may do. I'm not going to take that feedback into account until the next expansion, but hey. Uh, so, derelict spacecraft, which is a, on a starship hook. Oh, okay. Wow, look at that. That is absolutely cool. But, of course, we need to go down and explore it. Um, but I don't have my abilities to use rocket boost. Um, where's my rocket boost? Rocket boost, rocket boost, rocket boost, rocket boost. Where are you? Where the hell is my rocket boost? Oh, yeah, it's, of course, it's in Legacy, isn't it? No, it's not. Oh, what? What? Wait. Hold on. It's in vehicles. There it is. And go and survive! We survived. Anyway, come off that. Come come off it, you're too loud. Okay, let me wait for it to disappear. Thank you. Okay, uh, so what's this from then? It's probably something that occurred in a... Oh, right, so it's a bit of a... Okay. It's part of a uh, destroyed ship. So if you just want a piece of a uh, destroyed ship, just crash landed in your stronghold, well, you go ahead. It'd be nice if we could go inside as well. I mean, I know we could sort of go in here, but maybe sort of add like a little area, mini area that we could just sort of explore inside. That'd be cool. Um, but unfortunately not. I mean, there's windows, but they're not very good windows because they're very fogged up. E anyway, I'm going to go fall to my death and uh, appear back up there. <laughs> There we go. Uh, excuse me, Nico. What are you doing out? If you could disappear, please. See ya. See ya. The next pack contains... Uh, two decorations. Speeder bike trash heap and nomad hanging silks. Well, cool. Okay, so it goes on a large hook, but I just tried to put it on a large hook and it wasn't there. Oh, wait, I know why. Because I chose this, didn't I? <laughs> yeah. Okay, so here's a speeder bike trash heap. Yep. Somebody really doesn't like those types of speeders. Can I burn? I doubt it. No, I was going to say, they're not going to let you burn in your own stronghold on a decoration. I'm fireproof. And then we got nomads hanging silk. Oh, right. Okay, so it's literally people who's, you know, but they're washing out. And uh, has decided to put it that high for some reason. Do you know, I'm, I'm, I'm going to tell you just a small story. Um, my next door neighbour has like a massive, um, like something like this. But it's so high that I have no idea how anybody would have put washing on it. Like, I don't even think a step ladder would have even reached it. And yet I see like pegs and things on there. I'm thinking, how the hell? Was anybody able to get washing up that high? I mean, it wasn't this high. It was higher than this. It was higher than that. But hey, if you want to have some washing in your stronghold out, you, you, you go ahead. I'm actually going to pick this up because it's going to sound annoying um, with the fire burning because the fire is quite loud. The next pack contains... Openy, openy, openy. Uh, Grand Chance Cube and a Dune Umbrella. I'm getting all the decorations today, aren't I? Dune Umbrella. Where are ya? Yours are... There, and you go on a floor, medium hook. Lovely. Dune umbrella, and it's swaying in the wind. Don't know how it's doing that, because there's no wind here. But, this would work well on Tatooine, of course, because there is a little bit of wind on Tatooine Stronghold. But, um, yeah, in, in a Nashadar Stronghold, it looks a bit odd. Maybe if it was outside, perhaps. Um, but, yeah. Oh, there's like a little dial as well, that's sort of going in different directions. So the wind's blowing that way at the moment. Are you going to blow that way in a minute? No? Or does it stay in the same spot? Oh, okay. Fine then. The next pack contains uh, the lightsaber for Senya, please. Or the, or the companion. That'd be good. Uh, ancient stone tile. Again? How many decorations am I getting? I mean, it's not a bad thing. I like decorations. But, my wood. Wait, floor covering. Oh, it's a floor covering, so it goes on one of these. Okay, let's put it, actually, let's put it here, where we're standing. Okay. I mean, it would look better if we were able to cover the whole floor in this, but the fact that, that we can only sort of cover up a segment 
of the floor makes it seem a bit odd. But this kind of looks like a nice little stage. So, hey, we'll keep it here for the rest of the episode because it looks like a stage. The next pack contains... If you open up... Uh, an another decoration? Uh, we also do an umbrella again, which we don't need. But the scroungers work table this time. Where are thou? That was there. Oh, I like that. It really is just like a little tiny work table. Oh, that's cool. So if you want to, you can kind of have this, uh, like this this whole room maybe set up as like a little tiny classroom. For, I don't know, workshop? Maybe? But it looks cute. I, I, I really like it. It's got a nice little light. And it's got some a toolbox. And it's got a nice little chair, which, uh, I mean, would be difficult to sit on. Because it's tucked in. But... I don't know if you maybe uh hold on chair okay and then oh I was hoping that maybe you could sort of sit like that but no doesn't really work I mean he look at least he looks good sort of floating the next pack contains open sesame grand chance cube relic plunderers lower body armor it's been a while since we got some armor well then, let's open this one. So we have that and that. Trousers, you already know my opinion about the way it points down. But hey, uh, and... Oh, what's that in his boot? Oh, it looks a bit... I mean, I get the whole idea that it's meant to sort of, you know, it's missing that side. So they thought, oh, let's just chuck one of those in to make it look, you know, clunky and, you know, what, what's the word? Um, I can't think of the word. You know where you just sort of like a make like a makeshift sort of side thing to the boot. Um, interesting, I think. Uh, the next pack contains advanced mystic hazel hawkeye crystal and casual connoisseurs lower body armor. Uh, we've got the upper body armor. We haven't seen the lower body armor, so we'll see them both together. What was the other thing we got? Um, Advanced, oh yeah, <clears throat> excuse me, I keep losing my voice this episode. Uh, advanced Mystic Hazel Hawkeye Crystal, and it's got power as well, so hopefully that'll go for a little bit of money. Although I found that Endurance goes for a lot more than power does, which is weird. Uh, so there it is, that is a horrible colour. Really don't like that colour, that is disgusting. No, that's probably not going to go for a lot of money then. Uh, and we'll look at the Casual Connoisseur's Lower Body Armour with the upper body armor as well. Ooh, again, I like these sort of trousers. Um, in a different color, maybe? Maybe not in this color. This color looks a bit naff. Um, and the boots? Eh, the boots are okay, I suppose. Um, but there it is, sort of, together, if you want to sort of look at that. Obviously, we've got the, uh, the belt and maybe some headpiece and uh, braces to come, I think. Um, but we will get that. Probably not. No, wrong one. The next pack contains... Field tent pot... Again, with the decorations. I'm glad I'm getting them, but my word. So we have a field tent and we have a potted plant. Aww. Potted plant can go on the medium hook. So when you say medium hook, it's got to go into... Let's turn these into medium hooks then, because it doesn't like it going in that one, because that's not technically a medium hook. That's a medium narrow. Oh, my word. I put it down, right, because I was sort of looking at the actual thing here. It was like, oh, well, there's, there's nothing there. There's absolutely nothing there. And I put it down, and my word, it takes up a lot of room. Let's jump in it. I am part of the flower now. Sorry, it's not flower. It's not flower. It's a fern. I am part of the fern now. But, uh, yeah. That would probably work on a Yavin 4 stronghold, if you want to put that there. Any other, it would look out of place. Really, but that is absolutely massive. Oh yeah, there's another one we got as well. Field tent. Where do I need to put the field tent? On a large hook. I guess I'll go over there. Ah, okay, a field tent. So I've seen these many, many times throughout all of Swotor, even like on the starting planets. Um, so it's just one of these little tents. And of course, what's good as well is that you can add like little tiny things inside. Yeah, little tiny things. I mean, that's all you can really do. You can't sort of add anything else because the hook doesn't really do much. I mean, can I change this hook into something? Um, no, because you've got to have this large one for the tent to fit on. So it's you've got to have the large one, and then you've got to have little tiny green ones to add stuff in. 
But I don't know, maybe you could have some personnel in there. And it would look good. And of course you could probably have it on the um the centerpiece hooks and then maybe have some big stuff there. Um but that's really the best that you could sort of hope for. Um and the next pack moving on contains I'd like to get Senya's lightsaber, please, if if you could. That that would be good. No 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 no. no. Okay. Uh, Relic Plunderer's upper body armor. Have you already got the upper body armor? No, it was the lower body armor we had. So now we can put two and two together. Why am I always going to the wrong spot? It's there. That and that. Okay. So again, this side is sort of similar to that side. It's just trying to make a makeshift sort of side bit, I guess. And the... Oh, sorry, I'm getting burps here. It's because I'm drinking the Coca-Cola. Um, the, the shoulder brace is odd. Um, I'm, I don't really have an opinion on this, to be honest. I mean, if you want to look like, if you want to seem like a child being all, Yay! I'm a bounty hunter! Then you go ahead. Or maybe, I don't know, a teenager. I mean, Kranitoka doesn't look like a child. Um, he doesn't look old either. Even though, technically, how old would he be? I don't know. Late 20s, I think? Because the, the, the whole, the whole, the whole, um timeline of Star Wars The Old Republic is like nine years. I mean, sure, the last five he's kind of been in Carbonite, so you know, those don't count because he didn't age. But, yeah, maybe? Yeah, about 24 then? 25? If we're not counting the five years, but he'd be like 29 if we are. So, you know, he looks good for his age. Let's put it that way. The next pack of I don't know why they have the animation there, because no, I can't really see it with this screen, so there's really no point. Uh, Grand Chance Cube Casual Connoisseurs Supplementary Body Armor. So we have the full set. So let's look at the full set one last time. Okay, so my first thing. What the hell is this hat? What? What? What, what, it, what is it? It. No. N no. The belt, not too bad. I like the little gold buckle with the little belt coming down off of it. Um, and then the braces, well, what's the point in adding braces anymore when you can't really see it? What's the point in adding braces to some sets? Where you can't oh, I guess you can mix and match with others, I guess, some sets you, you can see them in case you like them. Uh, maybe that's why not much work is put on, on the braces, because you just can't see them anyway. But that, that, that hat. Ew, no. The next pack contains uh, the Advanced Mystic again. Uh, indestructible this time, and a Grand Chance Cube. We shall just move on, because we've seen all of that. And we're leaving the Grand Chance Cubes to the end. Grand Chance Cubes again. Trade Envoys of Body Armor this time. And it's a bronze item as well, so it's probably not going to look that good. La la la. Oh! It's a bronze item, and I say it's not going to look that good. That actually does look nice. You know, it's very sleek. It's... It's... It's professional. It... It just looks really nice. I like the little, I like the back it back bit. The the I can't speak. I like the back bit as well, where it just sort of flows down. Ah, I really, I really do like that. I wonder what the rest of the set would look like. Will I get it? Probably not. I don't think it would be Kranitoka's armor though, because Kranitoka, Kranitoka likes to go for like proper, I don't know, not heavy armor, just kind of like medium sort of armor. Um, so yeah, uh, massive hanging rib. Right. Relic Plunderer's lower body armor. Uh, we've already seen the Relic Plunderer's lower body armor, so we don't need to see that again. But the hanging rib. That's got me a bit concerned. <laughs> okay. It actually is a hanging rib. I thought, oh, well, they're just going to just be coy with the name, and then it's not really going to be a rib. Yep. It's actually a rib from, I don't know some creature from Tatooine, I guess. And if you want to have a relic of a, of a creature from Tatooine, yeah, you have that hanging up in your stronghold. But me? To me, it looks like a claw that's about to grab me. Yeah. It looks like it's about to grab me. Grab me? Grab me. The claw. We're down to nine packs, and we've not really got anything fantastic. I mean, we've got the mount, at least, uh, and we have the power of the crystal, which actually looks kind of horrible. We don't have the companion, and we don't have the weapon tuning, and we don't have Senya's lightsaber. Even though I would love Senya's lightsaber. Um, I don't know if I would use it, but 
but I'd love to sell it for sure. Uh, Violet Fern again, which we don't need, and a scavenger, which we've already got. What have we got this time? Grand chance to keep the scavenger again. I wish I would stop getting that. Give me something new that I don't already have, even if it's a decoration. Grand chance to keep relic plunderers supplementary body armor. Have I seen the supplementary body armor? Relic plunderers lower, upper. No. Okay, so we have the full set. We're getting the full set on everything, aren't we? Weird. Okay, I like the helmet. The helmet's really good. It's just a Mando helmet, but modified. Uh, we've also got the braces. Again, you cannot see it. And the belt, which you can. I like that as a whole now. With the helmet, it really makes it look nice. Why, oh, apparently someone is selling a Corellian Star Drive Spark. What the heck is that? Oh! That's what it is. You're not going to get that for 14 million. I can assure you. I've got six packs left. Give me something good. Give me something good. Uh, Advanced Mystic again. Vectron Harvester. We've already got that, so we'll move on to the next pack. Open up. Force Disciples. Upper body and lower. Okay. Upper and body. Uh, upper and lower body. The Speak, Charlie. Learn to speak. Oh, well, I only woke up like half an hour ago, so don't judge me. Uh, right, so let's open them both. Um... Mm, I don't think so. Not even if I was a Jedi. I don't think so. I mean, I like the whole idea of your arms sort of being sort of shown to make you look brutish and muscly. But the full set, I, I'm not a big fan. Somebody would be? Oh, from the back, you look quite terrifying and quite awesome. But then you sort of see yourself at the front and you're like... Pfft. From the back, yeah, hello, I'm amazing. From the front, Pfft. we only have four packs left. And we've still not got anything good. Come on now. Come on, be good to me. Scrounger's work table again. Derelict spacecraft. We've already seen both of them. Okay. Open sesame. Uh, ooh, Cyberlite Muvor. Is that how you say it? Probably. But it's a little tiny pet. Aww. Well then, let's look at the little pet. Hello. Oh, you got like a little antenna on you. That's a bit weird. Come on. Come on, little pet. Hello. I mean, you're terrifying, but you're cute at the same time. Is that part? Is that actually part of your body, or is that like some armor which somebody strapped on? I'm not 100% sure because the textures make it just sort of look kind of. I don't know. He's the the armor's properly fused in. It doesn't look like he's wearing armor. It looks fused into his body. So I cannot really tell. I mean, somebody will know. I don't know the law on these little creatures probably. So if you want to tell me, you go ahead. We have one pack left. And are we going to get anything good? I doubt it. Number one. Vectron Locust again. Wait. Again? Uh, oh yeah, again. Never mind. We've already got it. Second one. Armor Maintenance. Scrap. Jower Junk. You dare. You dare be a Grand Chance Cube. And I will um, uh, throw this box, which my Star Wars light, my green Star Wars light, which you can see on my Twitter page somewhere, came in. Good, you're not. Okay, I'm not throwing the box. Oh, I wanted to throw the box. Threw it anyway. Uh, <laughs> Force Disciples, lower body armor, which we have already seen. Sigh. What a shame. Well, where's the Grand Chance Cubes anyway? They are... Somewhere. They're meant to be... There we go. We've got 12 this pack. So maybe maybe we'll get something good in them. Probably not. Um, I wanted Senya's lightsaber so I could possibly sell it. Or maybe use it on Crown Circle. I don't know. But anyway, let's open the Grand Chance Cubes and see if we get anything good. But probably not. We have Fain Death. Which I think I do have somewhere. I wonder if I can find it quickly. Let's go to my uh, cargo hold of many, many things. There it is. I knew I already had it, so I didn't want to use another one because they do go for a bit of money. 
sometimes. I think. Let me have a look how much it goes for. Yeah, they go for a fair amount. Not not too much, but a good amount. I mean, it could add to my 10 million. Wah ha ha ha. Uh, and if you haven't seen what Fain Death looks like, let me go on the stage. It's basically that. You die, and you know the sort of little light that comes up from when you uh, have loot? Oh, well, yeah. And of course, it's uh, rechargeability as well. So you gain health. It's a health regen item. Which I always liked. I know Ian uses that a lot. Um, but me, I, I. Until they add some sort of button which you can have like random health regeneration items used, then I'm probably not gonna. No, I'm probably not gonna use that. I'll just use my regular one because I don't wanna have it cluttering up my, my, my bars. Uh, medical centrifuge. Oh, I don't have that. Okay. A decoration I can actually show you properly because I don't actually already have. Okay. Excuse me. I'm trying to make a video here, and there it is! Ah, uh, I guess this is supposed to be a light. Oh, it's a bit dangerous, isn't it, with the lightning? What if that would just shoot down and just kill me? Eww. But it's it's quite nice. Again, like the rib. It sort of looks like a bit of a claw. The claw. The next cube contains... Give me something amazing that will blow my mind. Well, not the Tursa Victor, because I've already got one of those, I believe. Oh, wait, I don't! Oh, I have other mounts like it, but I don't have the Tursa Victor. Well, let's look at it up close then. And there it is, it's blue. Ah, I do have this mount, but on another character. I think this is on Maladar. Um, I believe, because of course I was saying a little while ago, well, he's blue, let's give him a blue mount, and I think I gave him this, I think. Might be wrong about that, but yes, here it is up close. If you never watched my uh, Imperial Agent series, it's cool. Actually, I'm wrong about that because apparently it's been added to my collections. And if Maladar did have it, it would have already been added to my collection. So, what mount does Maladar have? Huh, that's very peculiar. Anyway, the next pack contains. Dark purple and deep yellow die module. That seems like an odd die. Hmm. Um, I don't think we'll look at that unless and if we get full set, we'll look at it. If we don't, then we won't. Uh Tree of Paradise, which I already have, so I'll just show you in the actual decoration thing. Tree of Paradise, where art thou? You're there. It's just a nice little ah, oh, nice little flowery tree. Which I think I got on my Yavin stronghold somewhere. The next cube, we've got seven left, contains... Pocket Sarlacc! Well, I believe I do have this somewhere, so let me go into my uh, cargo hold and find out. But how much does it go for first? Pocket Sarlacc! Oh! <laughs> okay! I don't think anyone's going to buy it, though. But we'll see. Ah, and it's in the same place I found my feigned death. Do I have any more pocket sarlax um, that I could possibly sell right now? If I do, I'll put it on the cargo hold right now and then see if anybody sells it from watching my video. Anybody buys it from watching my video. Not that I can see. Okay. But what this does inevitably mean is that if I take this pocket sarlax out, claim it, lovely, and then in 36 hours, I can sell it for however much I want. And hopefully you'll buy it. I've got to remember not to use the wrong one. If I use that one, it's bound to be forever. I need to use this one. Okay, because this is also a health regen item as well. So, here we go. It eats you. And it has a little tiny anus as well. You'll never unsee that. And then... Spit me back out. It's cool, isn't it? I like it. Again, I would use it if they had a health regen sort of button. You know, health regens appeared in like their own little tab, like here maybe. Um, and then, of course, you can have like a random health regen button, which needs to be done. The next cube contains emote hip dip. Hip dip. I've already got that. I do. But let's show you hip dip nonetheless, because we can. <sighs> it's 
sometimes I don't know what crosses Bioware's mind. The next cube contains... Model FT-8 Star Guard. Have I already got that? To be honest, I haven't got a model ship in quite some time. Um, I don't have that, so let's have a look at it now. There it is. Hello. Alright, I, I love it when it does a little spin. It's cute. Can I go up close? You're going to move away, aren't you? Yeah, of course you are. Oh, God. Looks like you're about to fire at me. Let's see if I can look at you up close quickly before you move away. There we go. Um, stop moving away. Where, where, where have you gone? Whoa! What are you doing? Well, there it is, nonetheless. Of course, if you're watching in 360p, you're probably not going to see jack crap. I would say the S word, but I don't swear in my videos. Not that often, anyway. I mean, I did in my Mass Effect video, which if you could go and watch my Mass Effect series, um, episode 1 and episode 2 is out, so uh, link in the description to go watch my Mass Effect playthrough if you could. That'd be good, because I want to do more episodes of that, um, but the views aren't great at the moment. Um, a massage bot. Right, I know I have this somewhere. Because I've used this and it's bound to me, so I know I have it. Do I? Or do I? I don't know. I think I do. Yes, I am right. I know I'm right sometimes. I mean, 8% of the time I'm wrong, but 20% of the time I'm right. Yes, I am right. Massage bots. No. Massage bot. So yeah, it gives you a nice little massage with uh, lightning for some weird reason. And then you become inflamed because, or enraged because that's what my character does. Um, he becomes enraged. We've got three more cubes left. Give me something good, if you could. Stuff which I don't already have. Pot plant, Yavin, Octogave plant. I've already got that, but... Wait, what's that noise? What is that noise? Oh, oh, it was the model. It just got stuck for some reason. Okay. Uh, what were we looking at? Potter plant, Yavin, Octagave plant. It's that. It's not exciting. Let's open up the next cube. Which contains... I'd be mind blown if it gave me, like, Senya's lightsaber or something like that. Uh, industrial fire pits, which, uh, if I move this over there, it's that. It's just fire. I'm pretty sure I've shown you that. Uh, in a previous pack video, because I, I even remember that. And the last cube, which will give me nothing good. Antique Socorro Blaster Rifle Besh. Which is that? Which I'm pretty sure I'll show you. It just looks like a shotgun. So, as per usual... I mean, I say as per usual. I mean, sometimes I do get something amazing. But, as per usual, this, this pack just isn't fantastic. Um, didn't get anything worthwhile. Um, but maybe the next pack? I mean, like I said, the next pack, well, there's some good stuff in there. I mean, look at that mount. I mean, you, you, you'll you have to sort of go on and swear to yourself and look it up close. But look at that mount. Look at that mount. And that mount. Oh, I, oh, I, can, I can view this one. Oh, cool, I can view this one. I mean, look at that. I mean, that's the mount from The Force Awakens, pretty much. Um, is there anything else that I can sort of look up close? Oh, I can! Okay, I can look at the Unrelating Terror Armor set up close. Now I can, I just wouldn't do it properly. So, shall I show you this full set? That, 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 and that. Um, it looks good. If I take the helmet off, uh, do you reckon that would look good as Kranotoku's new armor for the next... For the next next expansion. Where's that uh, armor die as well? Armor die, armor die. There it is. Let's claim that. What would it look like in purple yellow? Eh. Eh. Maybe not. Turn that off. But yeah. What do you think? Do you reckon that should be? I mean, I don't even know if I'm going to get it yet. And that's definitely going to go for millions upon millions. So I'm probably not going to afford it. But if I, if I just got rid of the... Um, the, the trousers and the boots um, as well. If I were to put something, if we were just look at the top half, right, you have to just sort of ignore his bottom half. Do you reckon that would look good as Kranatoka's new armor? I'm I'm still unsure. Um, it could do, but we will have to see. If you want to see what Senya Tural's lightsaber looks like, it does that basically. 
comes down and then the lightsaber comes up. Yeah, so that's ten years up. What, what does it look like in the double sided one as well? I'm looking at it all now. Why not? Oh, what did, I, what did that do? I don't know what it did. Okay, so that comes down and that comes up. Alright. So, yeah. There's some good stuff. Ooh. Hoo -hoo. What does that look like? I'm spoiling it for the next pack. I say I'm spoiling it. I'm not going to get these. So, anyway. But we'll leave it here for now. Not that I've got anything good. But, hey. So, thank you very much for watching, ladies and gen gen gentlemen. Yes, gentlemen. And I shall see you next time. And a farewell to you.